Today is Tuesday, July 8, 2014. It's the 189th day of the year. There are 176 days remaining until the end of 2014. Sunrise today is at 5.15 a.m. The sun sets at 8.36 p.m. Length of daylight hours today is 15 hours, 20 minutes, 50 seconds. One minute, nine seconds shorter than yesterday. Tomorrow will be one minute, 12 seconds shorter than today. The waxing gibbous moon rises today with 84.3% illumination at 4.35 p.m. and sets at 2.35 a.m. Wednesday. The moon passes today above downtown Rutland City at 231,976 miles distant from the center of planet Earth within the eighth zodiacal designation Scorpio, the Scorpion, under partly cloudy skies with a ceiling between 2,000 and 11,000 feet and an increasing 40% chance of rainfall, expect showers and thunder showers to develop this afternoon and a high temperature of 86 degrees on the Fahrenheit scale south-southwest wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, thunderstorms likely overnight, a 90% chance of measurable rainfall, heavy at times, with the thermometer falling to a low temperature of 66, wind south-southwest, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Wednesday, you could wake up to rain on the roof, chances diminishing, though, to about 40% by midday. Some sunshine later today with a high expected temperature of 79 degrees. Pollen count is low, 3.6 out of 12. Humidity climbing to a sticky 86%. UV index is safe, 0 out of 16. Air quality remains good. The highest recorded temperature in the contiguous United States on Monday is 116 at Death Valley in the Golden State, California. Lowest temperature is 38 at Stanley in Idaho. The state and at Snake River in the Equality State, Wyoming. In dwelling, live close to the ground. In thinking, keep to the simple. In conflict, be fair and generous. In governing, don't try to control. In work, do what you enjoy. In family life, be completely present. Lao Tzu. The BBC reports earthquakes in Oklahoma have increased 100-fold in recent years, and a new study finds a link between the shaking and the fracking that's given the state's economy such a huge boost. Researchers have taken a closer look at four specific sites where wastewater from oil and gas extraction was injected into the ground and found that the process could be linked to swarms of earthquakes in areas up to 20 miles away from the sites. The four wells examined have been pumping 4 million barrels of water a month to a depth of around two miles underground. At one site linked to the wells, a small town called Jones, there have been more than 2,500 earthquakes greater than magnitude three since 2008, a fifth of the total of the central and western United States during that same period. A study co-author tells Scientific American, it really is unprecedented to have this many earthquakes over a broad region like this, explaining that wastewater injection can cause earthquakes by sending out waves of fluid pressure causing faults miles away to slip. This is today's Weather Minute. I'm Richard Alcott.